Time for another edition of Best Effing Bets. Pete McCarthy filling in for Greg Ehrenberg on this Labor Day. Hope you're enjoying it. Some barbecue, some fun, and a lot of baseball on Labor Day, right? We got teams traveling all over the place. Baseball, wall-to-wall, daytime, midday, nighttime, the whole nine yards. So we're looking forward to that. Thanks for joining myself here on Odd Shop. Or be sure to like, subscribe. You hit some of these picks. Give a shout out in the comments. Tell us how we're doing today. Uh, and uh, and make it all happen. And we appreciate all you guys for subscribing. Over 17,000 subscribers on the channel now, which is just amazing. Uh, we've got a lot happening here at Odd Shopper. Of course, Thursday night football, the NFL is back this week. Be sure to stay tuned for that. Lots of college football action. Big weekend uh, has now passed us by, but we're going to have plenty more content coming your way uh, for college football throughout the entire season. So it's really prime time. And then we got pennant races. We've got seating that they're fighting for Major League Baseball and playoffs before you know it. Uh, so lots of good stuff happening here. So let's get to some of these picks on this Labor Day. We're going to start with those cratering New York Yankees and their starting pitcher today, Jamison Tyone. Uh, I like this spot for Tyone. Really, I just like the line on Tyone today. Uh, over under three and a half strikeouts. We'll hit the over on that. The projections at Stochastic like at 4.7 projected strikeouts for Tyone against this Minnesota Twins team that does have some swing and miss in it. I uh, know look, you look at what Tyone has done recently. It's not exactly coming off a banner. A couple of starts. Uh, was under this number against both the A's and the Angels. Not exactly power offenses, but the Yankees uh, were out on the West Coast there. And you look longer term with Tyone. The five starts before that, he's been over this number. He's more than capable of racking up some strikeouts, getting that done. Uh, the Yankees are going to want to push Tyone a little bit today. Another long day for the bullpen yesterday with Frankie Montes only giving them five innings. Uh, so I, I like all of this. Uh, we look in depth, some of the numbers you can see on Odd Shopper: sixty-nine percent chance of hitting this, ten uh, percent return on investment. Not, we'll have some bigger ones throughout, uh, but I think this is a nice, safe pick to start off the day with. Uh, you're not hitting a lot here. This is minus one seventy on points bet, uh, but Tyone, good spot, has the ability to get these strikeouts. Has it done the last couple? I'm going to throw those out the window and like Tyone in this spot against the Minnesota Twins. Now, big picture here. Uh, you can play these things on DraftKings, of course, as well. And we have a special limited time offer for new users of DraftKings. If you haven't signed up there yet, make sure you have that happen. Uh, DraftKings Sportsbook, you can take advantage of this offer right now. Just bet at least $5 on any NFL or college football game, and you'll get 200 bucks instantly. It's free money. Five bucks on an NFL or college football bet. Thursday night football's coming up. Uh, we've got all this NFL happening. We've got lots of content to help you out as well. You throw five bucks down, you get 200 bucks. I mean, that's as good as it gets. That easy. Click the link in the video description below. You can claim your $200 now. Again, DraftKings Sportsbook, 200 bucks. All you got to do, put $5 on an NFL or college football game. Make sure you're doing that, especially with the NFL season firing up. And like I said, we've got so much content coming your way at Odd Shopper to help you out, even if you are new to sports betting, getting into football, trying to find the angles. We'll help you out all the way on that. All right, let's get to some more baseball picks here. Uh, love Brady Singer. He has really come on this season for the Kansas City Royals. Uh, he is peaking at this time, and he gets the Cleveland Guardians today. Not the easiest matchup in the world, but uh, you look at the over-under and the strikeouts here. We're looking at four and a half. The projections have him over five strikeouts. And what I like about this one is we're getting plus money. Go to DraftKings plus 125 on Brady Singer to go over four and a half strikeouts. You look at what Singer has done of late, uh, long term, 10 of his last 12 starts. He has had at least five strikeouts. So he's been able to get it done. Uh, he's going up against Tristan McKenzie is a big kind of young developing aces kind of pitching matchup between these two teams. Uh, I actually like the Royals on the money line as well here. Uh, you're getting plus money there. I think the starting pitching matchup is a bit of a wash here, uh, but with Singer striking out, you know, over 20% of the batters he faces uh, is a really good spot for him uh, against Cleveland to be able to get over a line that's just not that big that he has consistently been over over the course of this season. So, and the big one I'm going to give you is Royal is uh, Brady Singer over four and a half strikeouts. I like the Royals as well. Uh, so take a look at that and uh, see if the Royals can get over on Tristan McKenzie and the Guardians today. 
Uh, next up, the Washington Nationals. They are taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. Look at Washington, plus 215. And while, yeah, you could probably only name maybe one guy in their starting lineup these days, the Nationals are actually playing some pretty good baseball. Uh, so they've won four of their last five against the likes of the A's and the Mets. Now, the A's might not impress you, but they did go to City Field and won two out of three this weekend. And they did it in impressive fashion because they're able to score some runs. You look at these five games, not the greatest sample size, but the Nationals have scored 29 runs over these five games. So while it is a no-name lineup, uh, we're not talking about Juan Soto anchoring it any longer. They've been able to call up some guys that have had some success of late that are scoring some runs, and they're going up against Jack Flaherty. So Jack Flaherty, kind of a big-name pitcher, not ordinarily a guy that we would target, but uh, he is finally back after missing a couple of months on the injured list. Uh, Flaherty did ramp up. We're, we're not saying he's only going to throw three innings, then get taken out. Uh, he threw over 100 pitches in his most recent rehab start at Double A. Uh, he was able to put up some strikeouts down there, but it's still his first game back. He's had shoulder issues all season long that have really hampered him. There's uncertainty there, right, with this Cardinals pitcher. This isn't Jack Flaherty in the playoffs a couple of years back. This is Jack Flaherty working his way back from injury, trying to get ready to be a factor for the Cardinals in the postseason. So we've got uncertainty in the pitching situation for St. Louis. We've got a Washington offense that's been pretty hot. So while, yes, you look at the standings, you say, why the heck would you take Washington over St. Louis? Well, we're getting plus 215 on this, uh, and you look at, Inside the numbers here, it's stochastic, 10.9% uh, estimated ROI, return on investment on this. So uh, there is something to like about the Nationals. Again, I like the uncertainty on the pitching side for St. Louis. Now, look, you're not backing an ace uh, for the Washington Nationals here, right? It's not Steven Strasburg on the mound or uh, Max Scherzer. I guess the ghost of Steven Strasburg at this point. We're looking at Anibal Sanchez making the start for Washington. He's not been good overall this year. This is generally a guy that you look to target. I do find it interesting, though. You look at the last three starts for Sanchez. He's really pitched well. He's at a 1.10 ERA. And these aren't against all uh, lousy teams. He's done it against Oakland. Well, that's one lousy team. And then also Seattle and San Diego. So he's had some difficult matchups of late. He's been able to keep these teams off the board. Uh, you look at a lot of righty right-hand power for St. Louis with Nolan Arenado and Paul Goldschmidt, and we'll see if Annabelle Sanchez is able to quiet that a little bit. Giving up the home run has been his big bugaboo over the course of this year. But there's enough here with Sanchez pitching well of late, the Nationals scoring some runs of late, and the uncertainty on the St. Louis pitching end that, look, at plus 215, I'll take my chance on the Nationals to pull off a nice little Labor Day upset of St. Louis on the road. Uh, a couple more picks for you. Martin Perez is going to be starting against the Astros for the second straight outing. Again, really low line here on the strikeouts. Uh, we're looking at an over-under of three and a half. So we're going to go over on that for Martin Perez against Houston. He's projected for close to five strikeouts today by Stochastic. Uh, again, you're not going to get big money here. It's minus 155, bet MGM. But this is almost a freebie. You look at Perez over the course of the season, who's pitched really well for Texas. He's had at least four strikeouts in 24 of his last 25 starts. So that goes all the way back to his second start of the season. So he has been at four strikeouts at least consistently all year. Last outing against Houston, he didn't pitch particularly well, but he still struck out five. Uh, so I, I don't really understand the line here. It seems extremely low uh, for what Martin Perez has done over the course of this season. There's no reason for Texas to be limiting him or say, oh, we're only going to throw him for a few innings, get him out of there. Uh, so let's go Martin Perez against these Houston Astros. They give up 10 runs. They don't care. He just has to get through the four strikeouts and everything that he has done this season. Uh, tells you that he can get there. And look, we, we got just last week going up against his team and was able to pull it off. So uh, I like Martin Perez here. All right, one more for you. The Tigers and Angels. This is a late night game over under eight and a half runs. Uh, I like the over and I'll tell you why. Detroit's going to be throwing Tyler Alexander out there, a left-hander. He's not really a starting pitcher. He's not going to throw deep into the game. He's giving up multiple runs and uh, a ton of his most recent starts here. Tigers also used six relievers yesterday. 
this is a spot where Alexander might have to eat it a little bit, even if he's not pitching particularly well. Uh, the Angels are very right-hand heavy. Obviously, Mike Trout in the middle of this order, but they should be able to throw seven right-hand batters out there against Tyler Alexander. So we should have some runs on that side. And the other side doesn't look that bad either. I would say Suarez going for the Angels. I know the Tigers aren't a lineup that scares you. Uh, that you expect to throw a whole lot of runs out there, but we got a couple of teams just playing out the end of the season in Anaheim. We've got some bad pitchers on the board. Uh, both teams have some pop. Javier Baez trying to figure it out in Detroit. Obviously, Shohei Otani, Mike Trout on the other side for the Angels. So, you know, give me some lousy pitchers and some runs out west. Uh, we got to get to nine. We'll hit the over on that. So I like that uh, with the Tigers-Angels game. Uh, remember, make sure you sign up DraftKings. Five bucks on an NFL game, a college football game, and they're going to send you 200 free. I mean, you can hit the bet and get 200 bucks. Uh, so be sure to check that out. You can click the link in the video description below to claim your free $200 right now. I'm Pete McCarthy. Appreciate you joining me for Best and Bets. I'll be in all week here for Greg. So if you have some success today, be sure to come back tomorrow comment tell me where i'm right where i'm wrong all the nine yards we appreciate any likes and uh, subscriptions that you're willing to throw our way here at odds shopper enjoy your labor day